We have all kinds of ways that we can put pressure on this government. Uh, we'll mobilize in the streets if we have to. Threatened by back-to-work legislation, Canadian postal workers are digging in. They want their issues addressed and they're willing to do whatever it takes to get there. We're here today to condemn a violation of our fundamental rights as workers in this country. The right to free collective bargaining, the right, right to negotiations, and the right of workers to have a vote on their own collective agreement. In Toronto, police were called after several postal workers visited Finance Minister Bill Morneau's office to protest back-to-work legislation. Union leaders say there are several outstanding issues yet to be addressed. Issues of women's equality, issues of health and safety, issues of precarious work, all of the things this government claims to stand for. Postal workers have been on rotating strikes for five weeks now, amping up pressure to have their issues addressed. Palachek says worker safety is at risk. If our members are forced back into these conditions, at least 315 postal workers will suffer disabling injuries between now and Christmas. Members of Parliament are currently working on a motion to fast-track the back-to-work legislation. No word when the bill might be passed, but the Senate is prepared to sit on the weekend if needed. Previous back-to-work legislation for postal workers was passed in 2011, but later found to be unconstitutional. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.